Hi YouTube, this will be a quick tutorial on how to update the BIOS on ASUS's new P8Z77V and similar motherboards. Flashing your BIOS is a little bit risky, so please watch till the end where I discuss some basic precautions you can take to safeguard against possible issues with this process. Now the first step is to boot into your BIOS by pressing the delete key repeatedly when first starting your computer. This screen will show up, and at the top it will tell you the model number of the board you are using as well as the current BIOS version, in this case version 1616. And the next step will go online to the ASUS website to check to see if a newer BIOS version is available. So if you go to Google and type in ASUS Downloads, you can click on the top link and that will take you to the ASUS website. So now we're going to select model manually, click on motherboard, then click on your socket type, which in this case is LGA1155. And from there we can select the particular model that we're looking for, which in this case is the P8Z77V. And lastly, we'll select our operating system. Click confirm, and it will take us to a support page where um, different biases and drivers are available that are specific to your motherboard. If I expand the BIOS section, it'll show a list of all the biases uh, and the different versions that have come out over time. The newest one is on top, and that is version 1616, which is what I already have. But just for instructional purposes in the video, we'll just proceed with that one and just pretend it's it's a newer version. So I click the global button. Uh, a zip file will start downloading. Once that is complete, we can open the file and make sure we extract it and send the extracted BIOS file to a zip drive. So once you've done that, uh, we're going to restart the computer and making sure the flash drive is still plugged in and we'll pick up there. Once the new BIOS file has been unzipped to your flash drive, boot into the BIOS once again to perform the flash. From the main screen, enter advanced mode and then go to the tools tab and launch the ASUS Easy Flash 2 utility. From there, click on your thumb drive and then navigate to the new BIOS file. Click on that, click OK to read, and then click OK to update the BIOS. I'm not going to do it in this case because I already had the newest version of the BIOS. But uh, if this were an actual flash, you click OK, a bar graph would appear to indicate uh, update progress. And once that was complete, it would prompt you for a reboot. You would click the reboot button and the computer would reboot itself several times and the screen will probably turn on and off. So just be patient and wait till everything for sure is complete before proceeding. Once done, uh, you will need to reset your boot order and all the settings within your BIOS because everything, including the um, overclocking profiles, will be reset back to default. So um, once you do that, however, um, you should be good to go. And if you go back to your main screen, you should see that the BIOS version now indicates you have the newest version uh, just to confirm that everything is all set. Once that's finished, you can uh, exit and you're done. One more thing to note is that uh, after you perform your BIOS update and your computer is done restarting itself, you may come to this screen which just shows an error message saying that you forgot to reset your boot priority. Uh, if you restart your computer and go into your BIOS, you can tell your computer to boot from the drive that you keep your operating system on and once you do that, save and restart, you should be good to go. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about are the risks involved with flashing your BIOS, and I want to give a general set of guidelines to follow to minimize the risk. Just be aware that you are going to flash at your own risk, because there is the possibility that you could brick your motherboard as a result of a power loss, power interruption, or other error um, during the update process. I would recommend checking online to see if anyone else has had problems or issues performing the specific update that you want to attempt. I would also be sure that you're not overclocked during the flashing process, just for stability's sake. I would always upgrade to a newer version of the BIOS, not to an older one, and I would follow any other specific instructions you find on the manufacturer's website when you download the BIOS. And when you have a desktop, I would definitely recommend having a UPS um, battery backup just to safeguard against power spikes or other interruptions. So that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope it's been helpful.